Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. We are back with another deep dive into smartphone tech. Today, we are diving into the display world with a personal twist. I'll be comparing the IPS display on the Razer Phone 2, which I used extensively for gaming, and the AMOLED display on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, which was my go-to for media consumption. Let's see how this display holds up in real-world use and what my experience was like. Before we get into the nitty-gritty, here's a quick refresher on this display's technologies. IPS or in-plane switching is an LCD technology known for its color accuracy, wide viewing angles, and consistent brightness. On the flip side, AMOLED or Active Matrix Organic Light Emitting Diode lights up individual pixels independently, giving you those deep blacks and vibrant colors. But theory is one thing. Let's talk about what it's really like using these displays. Let's start with the Razer Phone 2, which I had back in mid-2019. This phone was my gaming beast. We're talking about 6 to 8 hours a day playing PUBG Mobile. The IPS display on this phone was rock solid. The 120Hz refresh rate made everything buttery smooth. And the colors were accurate. Though it's not as punchy as AMOLED displays. But here's the kicker. After all those long gaming sessions, the display held up without any signs of image retentions or burn-in, which is something you can't always say about AMOLED displays. Fast forward to mid-2020 when I picked up the Samsung Galaxy S20+. Plus. This phone was mainly for media consumption, like Netflix, YouTube, the works. The AMOLED display on this phone is a stunner, the colors are vibrant, the blacks are deep, and the HDR content looks phenomenal. But, and this is a big but, I did start noticing some burn-in and image retentions after a while, even though I wasn't gaming on it like I did with the Razer Phone 2. The AMOLED screen showed signs of wear with prolonged use. It's something to keep in mind if you're planning to use an AMOLED screen heavily. For everyday use, both displays have their strengths. The AMOLED on the S20 Plus is more energy efficient, especially with dark mode. That's a big plus for battery life. Plus, the always-on display feature is a nice touch that IPS can't match. So what's your experience with these displays? Let me know in the comment sections. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.